You mentioned that taking small amounts of aspirin with fish oil is beneficial. Could you, I know, I know you discussed it, but I sort of went over my head. Why, why is that? What it adds in production of some other substance? Well, that what happens when you take small amounts of aspirin, and small amounts is about 20 to 40 milligrams right. of aspirin. What you do, remember the aspirin is, a, is an inhibitor of the COX enzyme. Right. Now, if you take a small amount of aspirin, uh, the COX enzyme can no longer make of, you know, bad acosinoids, can't make thromboxin A2. But it can basically uh, now convert omega-3 fatty acids into a brand new class of acosinoids called uh, aspirin-triggered lipoxins. And these uh, aspirin-triggered lipoxins are incredibly powerful anti-inflammatory agents. But you can do it also if you're willing to take higher levels of fish oil. So the more fish oils you're taking, you're forcing the body to make these new anti-inflammatory acosinoids. So again, uh, aspirin just accelerates that. But trace amounts, if you take more aspirin, the Th benefits Then it inhibits, are inhibits it as the coccyx inhibitor. Yes. Oh, no aspirin, but again, that's why I say, you know, it's saying it's kind of hands across the millennia. You have the wonder drug of the 20th century, aspirin, reaching across and holding hands with the wonder drug of the 21st century, fish oil, and say, can we make them better? And so, yes, if I can basically get, you know, the 20 milligrams, get that sharp Ginzu knife, or the Alaskan Yulu, uh, <laughs> then I, I, I can basically, uh, you know, have the best of all possible worlds.